So I'm going to show you guys how I make this stuff. Rapashi Soylent Green. Tell everybody. Listen to me, Hatcher. You got to tell them Soylent Green is people. Fish love it. All of them seem to. So I'm going to give this a shot. It's been a while. Uh, the last time I saw uh, an easy to do recipe was Irene Girl Talks Fish. And I think um, without going back and watching her video, I think I'm going to do it essentially the same way. So hold on, let me turn this thing around. All right, so I put a cup of water in the microwave. It got it boiling. And what I'm going to do is put, I'm using teaspoons because I can't get a measuring spoon in here. I'm not really worried about it. Some heaping teaspoons. Now what Rapashi says on their label is uh, two to three parts of water for every part of soil and green. And this will end up making this uh, thick green gel. So what I'm gonna do now, that's uh, this stuff, and it's not sponsored, this is just me, right? And I'm doing it right, and then what it says, after you mix it, pour it directly into the mold. Uh, this is gonna be my mold. It's just one of those over-the-counter gladware, whatever, a little tupperware -y kind of thing. So I got hot water, and I'm gonna pour some hot water in here. Pour a bunch in there. And just and it smells like fishing at the end of Seal Beach Pier, um, and it's one of those things. I think if I got too much water, I'll add a little more rapashi, and and if I've got too much rapashi, I can add a little bit more water. But right now, it looks like it's mixing up pretty smooth. This is the way I cook too. You know, a little of this, some of that. I, I follow instructions like uh, makes my wife nuts because she is an absolute stickler for following recipe instructions. I'm a big fan of Jacques Pepin, and he says a recipe is nothing more than a point of departure. I'm paraphrasing, but that's all it is. It's a point of departure. It's a bridge to jump off of. So here we go. It's starting to thicken too, I can feel it. But I think it's, it's nice and smooth, no dry lumps. And then, so I store the rapashi in the fridge. I think, I, I don't know if I said that or not. Uh, and then when this is all said and done, I store it in the fridge as well. I'm going to let it cool on the counter for a while uh, before I put it. I don't want to put it in the fridge hot. And then uh, after it gels, I just use a spoon and, and pull out, you know, little, little bits, just slivers off the edge till it's gone. And I just drop those in the tank. The Plecos love it. The Auto Sinkless love it. The uh, Corys love it. I've got Amber Tetras. They'll go for it. The Kerbensis absolutely love it. Um, we'll see how uh, the wild-type mollies and the guppies like it. They seem to like zucchini, so I'm betting they'll like this as well. I'm still just stirring it. I probably don't need to anymore. But uh, that, that's it. So I don't know if you can see that consistency there. It's kind of thick. It's lovely. Not something I might eat, but whatever. So I'm just gonna use a spoon here because this is still plenty hot to scrape off the excess. I got an old chopstick, that's what I was using. Uh, works really well because it's small enough to fit in here. And that is that. Now I'm just gonna let this dry right on here and I'm instead of wasting it, I'm gonna drop it in the fish tank. So that's it. I will come back once this is gelled and we'll, we'll pick up where we left off. Here, these are the baby crebenses. They They'll eat anything. So this is what was on the, uh, the, the chopstick. You can see them already going for it. And they'll find their way down. There's uh, four auto sinkless in this tank as well. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't get any. Eventually these guys will figure it out um, and they'll all find their way down to the bottom. All right, it's been a couple hours and the Rapashi's been in the fridge. It's cold, it's gelled. Uh, after I uh, shut the camera off last time, I looked at the sides and there was still a little bit of dry around the sides. So I went through and stirred that in just to make sure it was all pretty well mixed. It's pretty solid now. I'm going to see if it'll just, yeah, see there. That's what it looks like. Just popped out, still a little wet. But anyway, the way I portion it out is just with the spoon and just take out little pieces like that. And that's what I drop in the tank. 
you can get clever. I saw somebody, I think it was uh, Katie's, uh, Katie Cichlids, and she had little Christmas molds that she used to put this stuff in. So you can do whatever you want. But anyway, this is how I do the Rapashi uh, Soylent Green. Tell everybody. Listen to me, Hatcher. You gotta tell them Soylent Green is people! It's a real easy way to do it. I've seen other people make it a lot more complicated, and I can't see any good reason for that. So anyway, hope that helps. And I will, uh, uh, I was just trying to get a piece of hair out of the way. <laughs> and I will catch you all on the rebound. Thanks for watching.